you know, for me, man, um, when you're doing time and being in prison, that's like actually you, that's your new address. That's the new, your new place of residence at that point in time, Thanks. man. And it's different factors on me as a nigga who never been to prison. Like, it, I never been to prison before. Good. Straight up. Don't plan on ever going. Don't want to be there. Don't nothing to do with it. We gonna get the story to the streets. And I mm. like people like you because you could take the kids and the, through these walls who are thinking and wondering and got anticipation. It's young niggas in the streets right now who want to go there hmm. just to get their rank up or they feel like that's cool or they, they want to have they, them stripes. Some oh. niggas want that. So I like it when you come and tell them they're real. Mm -hmm. So one part about that you said you taking off on people. You fighting. Right? Yeah, I was scared. Scared, so you fighting. <laughs> right. Tell me about a time when somebody hit you and you in prison and you didn't know what to expect. After the hit, the hit. Um, I would man, no doubt. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. ran, ran to the business. Yeah. Um, I got moved inside. I was a young nigga. I had been fighting inside of um. What he, they put in? They put all the rascal with the rascals, and um, they put me in there with the rascals at first because I was a rascal. But um, you know, it's like putting a lot of bitty pu puppy pit bulls in a cage. Somebody gonna be in there fighting and locking on each other at all time. Well, that's what we did. And um, they had a place next door where um. The grown men was. I like 17, 18. I'm already in plenty of time. I'm on my way. I'm in the county getting ready to go. Yeah. They had a spot next door. You heard a, the old men fight so hard. We And they used to scare me. I ain't gonna lie. I'm talking about, I ain't talking about no fucking scare me, scare me. I like, shit, nigga, I'm gonna go over there. <laughs> shit. Yeah. Them niggas in their 20s. Them niggas in their 30s. Them niggas in their 40s. Them niggas are fighting hard in the motherfucker. They, we ain't even head built like them niggas. That little shit ain't even all the way function yet. Yeah. Them niggas are already poking out everywhere. Uh, and they used to fight over there like, oh, God damn, that's some shit, ain't That shit sounds scary next door. Uh, little shit we over here doing don't sound shit like what's going on next door. So uh, the little shit that we was over here doing got me shipped to next door. Got me sent to next door. They came in there one day and said, Mr. Percy Demerson and Larry Barber. I'm like, yes, sir. I said, pack your shit. You're going next door. I said, shit, what I do? I gotta go next door, man. Take me to lock up. I don't shit now. I didn't never say nothing like that, you know. Like I told you, I had a character portray and I grabbed my shit, packed my shit. Shit, I'm going next door. Shit, I'm already locked up. You know what I'm saying? Me, uh, I'm not gonna be in fold or break. That was my thing, never. Uh, so I took my fighting on the road. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, this is the beginning. You, you, if you can make it over here, it's on to the next stage. But the next stage was next door where the grown niggas was at. That's fighting hard. Uh, they put us off, and I'll never forget when we walked through the door. I heard one old nigga run up to the door say, Hey, 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 look out, boss. Man, don't do that. Get them kids out of here. Don't bring them kids in here, man. Don't, you gonna get them boys hurt up in there. I'm like, nigga, who the fuck you talking to? I feel like that was my first part. I had to stand up for myself. Who get hurt by who, nigga? You hear me? You know, fucked up. I fucked up. I, ain't, I was a youngster. Yeah. I remember about like 19, 18 at the time. Um, and I walked in the door, but that old nigga knew what he was talking about. He let me get them kids out of here, man. Don't bring them kids. Don't do that, man. And that man was at that door like, I'll be damned. He gonna bring these kids up in here. I feel like the nigga was saying he was trying to do something to a nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. I went on to the house, packed my shit, make a long story short, man. Later on that night, they got a little thing they call fishing. Um, I was on the top bunk. My city name was on my my my, my bottom bunkie name was Larry. Um, I never forget they went fishing. I don't know shit what the fuck the old niggas doing. I'm new to shit. That means to try to break the new niggas in there. That means talk around the new niggas and see if they niggas hoes or they bitches or what. It's, and I'm a new nigga, new young nigga. So so I heard the nigga ask my city that was under the bunk with me say, he said, look out, Larry. I said, say, hey, yeah, what's going on? He said, what you silly doing? He he looked up there at me like this, and I was eating. At the time, I was eating a chocolate moon pie some, and a bag of Cheetos. He said, "Look like eating a, a chocolate moon pie and some Cheetos." He said, "Hmm. Well, I wish I can have some of that chocolate moon pie." Like, what the fuck? Nigga just scared the shit out of me for real. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm scared. Yeah. But he just said the chocolate, and he wasn't saying. He wasn't talking about the cake in my hand either. You didn't hear what I said, did you? Yeah. That chocolate moon pie. <laughs> what the fuck? This whole ass nigga. That nigga fishing deep now. 
I'm scared for real. You know my eyes went open. Yeah. I said, so I know. Shit. I gotta stand up for myself. Fuck. I saw so I went to the bar. I said, look out home, I don't play no games like that. I don't play them punk, I don't play no motherfucking games like that, nigga. And so you know, this when the mess jumped in. They knew I was the new nigga. Uh I heard some of the instigators went on. Ooh, ooh shit. You got you quiet down there now, boss hog. I don't know who the fuck Boss Hog is. Uh, they called him Boss Hog off the Dukes of Hazzard because he was a big old fat big motherfucker. I ain't know it. <laughs> Nigga look like um, Junkyard Dog. Yeah. And uh, so on. Um, he said, oh, nigga, shut up. Nigga can have some of that chocolate moon pie. I said, like I told you, homie, I don't play no games like that. Since you bumping, let the doors be the bed when the doors open. They were like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, everybody went to talking on the run. A lot of niggas got to talking and talking. I got... Instigators. Oh, he got you quiet now. You ain't saying nothing now, nigga. Young nigga that came in and shut your bitch ass up. Nah, 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 nah. I'm like, shit. I'm like, I he ain't say nothing. <laughs> the next morning, we came to get out. Now, I already said, let the doors be the bell. That mean when the doors roll open in the morning, and they let you out of themselves to go eat breakfast. Whoever was talking that shit when them doors open, nigga, be coming out fighting. And you just meet me, and you just meet me right there when that door open. You understand me? Now, I already threw the shit in the air last night, but hell. I don't even know who I was talking to. <laughs> That's, <laughs> no, <laughs> That's the game. That's the catch to it. We was in the cell talking shit. Uh, I don't know who I'm talking to. Uh, hey, I don't know this nigga. This dude, this big, this what? I don't even know who to look for when the doors open. But anyway, the doors open. I came out, had some goddamn shower shoes on. I went. I sit in the thing in the kitchen. We started eating. Uh, I'm looking around. So I had my partner. I said, say. I said, who was that talking that shit last night? Which one of these niggas? He, he say, it was them niggas over there right there. I said, what? He said, the table right there. I say, I said, oh shit. <laughs> shit, dog. Well, if they don't say nothing, <laughs> shit, I ain't gonna say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being honest as I can be. Yeah. You mm -hmm. keep it in a thousand, man. You keep it in a say, thousand. I'm just 19 years old. These niggas grown goddamn men. Niggas over looking like, um, um. Luke Ferrigno and shit over there in the corner. Them big old ones sitting up there like that. Oh shit, them the niggas that was up? That's the nigga? Which one boss? I said, the big one right there. Now I had a big homeboy that was in there. He called them stacks. Stack was so big, you stack cups and shit on his chest. But make a long story short, I called myself trying to play a little chess. You know, running her to stacks. I'm a new nigga, young nigga. I don't know no better. I feel like he's one of my big homies. He about that nigga size. He'll look out for me. It's a big nigga. So I went, I said, say, look at stack. Did you hear that shit that nigga was talking to me last night? He said, yeah. And one thing about Stacks, he taught me to have a, that Red Den, the character that I played, had to come to life now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we getting to it. I, I know I went around and around. No, I'm going around saying, but, I'm, I'm, but I'm getting to yeah. it. The, the character that I played had to come to life now when I went to Stacks. Uh, I said, Stacks, did you hear the nigga in there talking shit to me last night? He's like, yo. He said, yeah, he said, you need to go in there and handle it. Uh, nigga, you ain't see how big that shit is. What I want? No, I'm coming. No. So I didn't want to say nothing. He said, you need to go in there and handle it. So he had our through. Well, uh, put on your cape, nigga. <laughs> you going in here. <laughs> and I, I didn't, man. I like to say, I'm going to go. So I looked down. I said, she, I said, um, I ain't got no shoes. <laughs> I ain't got no shoes for this. I got shower shoes on. I still got the slides on. Yeah. The nigga reached up on his bed and said, hey, here. You know, put these on. Put something on. Get you some grip. Said, Damn. Damn, this nigga ain't gonna help a nigga nothing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you um, wanna help? Now I'm saying where the game got real that this is the game where you learn, nigga, that watch how you try to play people because niggas already on top of their game. That nigga Stacks was on top of his game when I came in there trying to ask for the help. Them niggas convicts. I'm an inmate. I don't know no better. I'm new to it. Uh, you, some niggas like such as I, if I feel like you trying to play me like puppet on the string, I'm gonna do you the same way, nigga. You feel like I'm saying? I think Kenan Wayne thought I was trying to play him like a puppet on shit, which I was. I was looking for help. Yeah. You understand me? But see, that's how you get goddamn. See how fast the game will change on the flip on you. It, it, you can get deep in trouble in that motherfucker so fast you wouldn't even know it. The game, what I'm saying, when Kenny Wayne gave me them shoes, he said, say, look at it, nigga. He said, you see them shoes you got on? I said, yeah. He said, look on the bottom of them. I started looking. And he had some little X's. He said, take it off your feet, look. He said, see them little met marks on there? I said, yeah, I see them. He said, all of them was wins. He said, I'm bringing my shoes back with no losses on them. Oh, that's another fight, nigga. 
And I was saying, God damn, what? No, I can't. What this? What, what, what the shit? Oh shit! I just stepped in some bullshit. Yeah. So now I gotta go in and fight the big nigga. But if I don't, if I win, if God damn, that was all coming to get you. That's how deep I got in that fast. That's when the old it came to me. But the nigga said when the laws brung us, hey man, don't bring them kids in here, man. Them nigga gonna get them kids. I, they ain't dumb on me. That nigga knew what he was talking about before we got in there. You understand me? We kids. But make a long story short, uh, I put the shoes on. Shit, he told me to go in there, take her my bitch, don't bring your shoes back with a loss on them. Shit, I knew I finna have to do some hell of a fight. That's a big motherfucker. That's J.D. Hall. This motherfucker got a life sentence. He just back on parole violation, trying to go home uh, on his way to the penitentiary. So I walk in, you know, and I, and I, and I put my cape on. Shit, it's going down. Soon as I fell up in this motherfucker, I walked up to him, I looked, and they was watching Young and the Restless. I never forget, they watching the soap poppers. And I stared at the nigga for a minute, and I thought about it, you know, shit. Well, he see me sitting here. <coughs> me still ain't said nothing. So by this time, I took him around, turned around and looked, and, and Big Kenner Wayne, he was standing in the back of the cell looking like, yeah, nigga, see what you gonna do. So I seen that nigga standing, I just said, fuck it. I said, say, look at me. I said, which one of you niggas talking that shit last night when I was in my bunk talking about the moon pie shit, nigga? That old nigga said, say, man, get on out of here. We trying to watch TV. <laughs> I swear to God, brush me out like I was the shit. And he don't know, nigga. I'm at the tip of my toes right now, nigga. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? But then, like, I, I took that well, shit, he don't want no trouble. So I bagged out. <laughs> he don't want no trouble. Then I look back at Kent Wayne and nigga say, he don't want no trouble, nigga. Take care of your business. So I said, say, nigga. I said, nigga, don't never talk no shit like that again, bitch. I, just, I hit that big nigga. When I hit him, he went back. That's the first time I hit a nigga. And I knew I had to fight now. That's the first time I hit a nigga and he ain't buckle, fold, or break. First, like I hit a wall or something, nigga. First time I hit a nigga, he act like I didn't hit him. I, and I'm telling you, I knew I pitched my best off the mound on that nigga. You hear me? I come off, I went deep in in the pocket to throw that one. You hear me? Yeah. That nigga didn't move. That let me know she, I'm still a youngster. Them some grown me. They can take a lick. They not the youngster. If I hit a young nigga like that, yeah. Probably would have slept him. This one right here, old nigga. When I hit him, he sit there, I'm like, God damn. He said, yeah, nigga, didn't I just tell you to leave me alone? He reached in his pocket. He pulled out a, a big-ass pencil, the old school, the throwback ones, with the lid in him. And that nigga stabbed me right in my motherfucking nose. Right here with that hole. The first one hit me in the nose. I just like that, damn. He stabbed me in my back one time right here and stuck me in the back at the bottom right here. Uh, by this time, I come up. I'm like, God damn, this bitch stabbing me. And I just went to punch him. Fight for my life. I don't know how it happened, but I got a drop. <laughs> I swear to God, yeah. I got a drop. As soon as I got the drop, he had two dudes that was sitting at the table he was watching the soul poppers with. When I got the drop, I turned around, one dude jumped off the table and, and, and punched me right in my right up under my eye right here with a bad motherfucker. Bam! Like, God damn. Like, oh, these niggas jumping me, nigga. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm out here, I'm trying to. And the nigga was so big, he grabbed me by my neck and he picked me up and he ran me into the balls. When I reached back to throw my foot back to catch the balls, I missed and I hit the top of my head and he split my head wide open. Right on the top, he split my head up against the ball. I got blood running all down the middle of my eyes. Uh, my nose, my eyes, this nigga hit me on the side of my jaw. I felt like my, <laughs> my ear was saying, ooh. I kept hearing that shit. It's like somebody cut on a, like a thing. Yeah. yeah like, what the fuck? I can see my mouth moving, but can't hear nothing coming out. <laughs> and he hit me with a bad one. So on. by this time, my big homeboy ran in there. By the time, motherfucker, you don't let him beat me to death. <laughs> so he, he was getting, they were scratching. And um, I know I try, I try to talk like I can, but. Back to your question. That's the first time. <laughs> yeah, so, so, nah, I didn't deep. hear me. That was deep. We yeah. in there. We in there. Let's go. We in there. We rolling, man. Let's go. Let's go. That's deep, man.